SPD ship. So oh, I like it. speaking of building your company around people, we have the collector, which I think you would look good with this, man. Just shave your chin down. I mean, you got the you got that. I think I think you should for Friday night. Shave that chin straight down and get that awesome stash going that, that Kenny Omega did. But it was hard. You know, we showed this graphic, and it's hard to believe that Kenny Omega has been the champ for 210 days. Does that seem like long to you? Bro, like, I mean, honestly, you think about what he's done and who he's beat, and Kenny, Kenny, you know, let's be, let's give this guy his just due. Of course. He's not just a killer in the ring. He's not just the best bout machine. He's the collector, baby. My, my man, it's been quietly just an absolute fire promo for a for quite a while now ever since don Callis has been involved yeah. and kind of got this different side of kenny he's been on fire on the mic and he was rattling off tonight dude he's beat john moxley he's beat eddie kingston he's beat Pac. he, he i mean you, you could go through names phoenix mm -hmm. you keep you can just keep rattling off people left and right jungle jack perry the guy has just put down everybody that there is in, in in aw for the most part right right and he came out and he and, and he was spitting fire tonight but the one, but the one guy we all are waiting for and i don't think that you don't have to be you could be a very casual rest aw fan and the writing has been on the wall for a long time man hangman page against kenny omega for that world championship that's that needs that's to happen coming. And tonight we got the first seeds were being planted, SPD, as as we like to say. The seeds, Johnny Appleseed was coming around and uh, planting Hangman Page versus Kenny Omega little seeds to sprout because that's going to be a full blown feud at coming come, come all out. People, you are going to want to be at all out this year when we just see what they we are going to be there, baby. Dynamite anyway, download is going to be there. You're going to want to come hang out with us. That's right. Uh, but I mean, what what AEW has done just to stack the card for Road Rager? Oh, when you think about what gosh. that show is yeah. going to be, um, I can only imagine what they're going to give us at All Out. And this is the match that's going to headline that show, bro. This is uh, right. this is the match that's going to perfect stack. build. It's going to be perfect. I love how they're slow playing the confidence of of the Kenny Kenny, the man who is overflowing with confidence and again if you're him why wouldn't you be confident you're the belt collector right so you have a man who is That's literally true. oozing machismo oozing confidence versus <laughs> a guy like hangman who has kind of struggled and had bouts with self self-confidence mm -hmm. and, and questioning whether he he's legitimate or not you know like sure. famously had his struggles with you know when he lost to Jericho early on about the, the first right. title, you know, so there's those self comp, those doubts that creep up this whole thing, the way this story played out from when Kenny came out to, and, and then the dark order came and I love that, him. man. I really loved when, when evil Uno came out and I was texting you guys like him in a suit and kind of this like leader role, like him on the mic, this is where it all began. You know, yeah. evil Uno coming out and talking like they're bringing it back to where it started. Where it was like, do we like them? Do we hate them? Do we know who these are? Are they jokes? Are they going to do anything? Then obviously they took off with with Brody Lee, uh, which I love. They did a lot of showed a lot of Brody Lee in that segment at the end of the Dynamite. Uh, and now that Uno was the only one wearing a suit um, and kind of taking that leader role, he's got that you know hand behind the back kind of that evil when he's talking. He's so good on the mic and he's got that you know nice voice. So for him to kind of essentially regain this leadership control. I really like that. And I think the crowd is definitely behind it. Um, and it's, it's going to work. And, you know, John Silver has tweeted out and others have tweeted out. We don't need another leader. We already had the best. John Silver mm -hmm. said we already had the best with Brody Lee. And so to help these guys grow more organically within as the, as they have been is, is a better move in my opinion. Yes. If, if they do bring in a Tommy end or someone else to the dark order, I'm sure it will work, but you I know, as saying. of now, I think the crowd is is clearly they were they were popping for Evil Uno when he was versus Miro, um, and now they're just going to go get over even more as the support for Hangman. You know, the celebration uh, that they're going to give Hangman and things like that. It's it's going to be great, and um, it will be it will be helpful down the line when Hangman does get gold 
to have that backup in dark order with the yeah. elite when they come to, to tag them. Because you know that that's going to happen. That like the, we're, What we're seeing now with the inner circle versus the pinnacle – you know we're gonna see a, a gang war go down at some point with between the Dark Order and the and the Elite. I think that they, I agree with you, like with Hangman versus sure. Kenny, and you're gonna to start to see those two those sides battling. I think that'd be great stuff, great compelling stuff. <laughs>